See? And I'm liking this actually kind of a lot. I don't know. I'm kind of thinking that's pretty cool. That has a totally different feel to it, right? All right, let me get this one in place and we'll choose this one. It's a good thing to work, play around with templates, you know, and that's the thing with your templates is playing around with handles on things as you can like go, okay, that's really what I want or not what I want. All right, so there's that. So I've got this. Did you see how I just took my finger and got it a little bit wet and then I'm putting it in place. I'm gonna trim this up and make it better, but I'm liking the negative space, right? I'm liking the way it's looking. This little space in here, I want it to like, you know, fit with the other one too here pretty well. Okay, I'm liking that, going all the way around. I'm saying, all right, I can definitely live with that. So what I'm gonna do now is draw around here, right? And that's where I'm going to score, right there. And I'm going to draw around here. Boop. And that's where I'm going to score. Okay, now, I have many times on this, like, then I take, and I, you know, I take the handles off, and then I put them back on, and, like, they're slightly different, so I sort of want to remember where they went. So... I'm going to take and put one line here and come down. So that I'm going to line right back up there. And this other one, I'm going to take two lines and do that. So I'm going to match those back up and I will remember that the two goes there and the one goes there. So that was cumbersome. Anyways, <laughs> but make sure they're scored well, and now I'm gonna put this in place, and I'm not gonna just set it in place. Now if I just do that, that's one thing, but I'm gonna brace this thing. Look how all that's squishing out there, right? Look how all that's squishing out. I'm gonna worry about, it's still moist enough to where this can be still bent just slightly, right? So, but I wanna make sure it's on there like crazy, so. And I'm looking at that silhouette of the inside and really making sure it's pressed on, right? Okay, so there's one. And I'm using those little, you know, keys that I put on there, those little marks, so that those will line up, okay? Okay, now I'm going to... Now, I put one on and I liked it. Now, it's important when the second one goes on that you start, your eyes go back and forth. Come in here and just get that just right. You can see that there's a lot of clay down here and I'm gonna trim this away, but right now I'm looking at these spaces, the interior spaces and making sure it all seems to line up good enough. And I'm liking it and I've applied a lot of pressure. process you were 90% happy with everything all the parts right and then you had made handles and your handles were ready to go and then you put everything together and you hem and haw and you make sure things are level and you're going around and making sure you like it and you like the gesture no matter what it's a handmade thing and we're not trying to make perfectly symmetrical things it's gonna have a, some kind of gesture to it right so that's all right go with it just make sure it's the gesture that you want Right? And make sure it's balanced and it's going to stand up. So you're happy with it. And 
I'm 90% happy with this here, and I'm 90% happy with this here. So what I wanna do now before I bag it and say, okay, I can let it start drying out or getting more dry, is I wanna get a couple different tools, like a needle tool, a sharp pencil, maybe a nice modeling tool, right? And I wanna go in and just make sure that this drawing is saying what I want it to say. Maybe I biffed some things as I went. Maybe I wanna just put some more lines in it, right? This is just the line patterns. And maybe there's some of them that have been kind of like just, you know, aren't quite the way I want them to be, right? Maybe I want his beard to be a little bit more of a shadow, right? Maybe his ear here is just not quite working. You know, some of the lines have gotten just a little bit funky. So, and you can kind of go and do what you want, but do the last 10% now. Everything's in place. Make sure all of the, transition all the connecting points look the way you want that the transitions are working well that the balance of the whole thing is the way you want it and that you're happy with how your relief sculpture and or drawings are if you want a little bit of a kind of a texture on the top of this like look like showing that you know how this was actually kind of sculpted at the very end you can go in and kind of add lines and smooth them slightly but you can still see the process of working, right? Which is, to me, that's one of the cool things about art is part of it is, is you don't want it to look so slick that you just took the life out of it, right? You want to be able to see somebody was working on it as you have been, right? So it's, it's, it's about stopping in an interesting place, right? And you can still do quite a little bit right now is when you hem and haw and get this just the way you want. Like if I really want this building to look like the building, the new building in downtown San Francisco, then I need to maybe get out a picture and just make sure that at least if they looked at this, they would get it that, oh, that's supposed to be that. <laughs> or, you know, if this little triangle here is supposed to be the Transamerica building, just make sure it stands out, you know, but also be careful not to overdo stuff. And that's coming from Mr. Mark, who everybody, I have been accused of overdoing things pretty much in art. It's like, why don't you just stop? It's like, okay, shut up. Last thing I'll show you here in just a minute is when you're done, how you're going to get this thing carefully wrapped up so that you can get it to the studio in one piece. That's the big thing. Okay, so multiple fussing sessions here. And you, at some point you just got to put a fork in it and say, it's done. I'm done, but okay. I, I like the fact that this did not have enough definition to it in my mind. It didn't have light and dark enough. And some of the lines were just all kind of blurred together. So what I did was create a variety of lines. So now this, to me, this drawing pops out a little bit more. And I fussed a little bit here, you know, with this side. Somebody stop me. Okay. So I'm not going to just go away and let this drop. Here's two ways. You can either do it. Standing it up, we're not going to work with this one yet because it still needs to dry a little bit. Imagine this is rather hard. We want this to either put it in something standing up like this, or we want to set it down gently on its side. So here's one example. So one is that we take some kind of a container that's bigger than the piece and create some kind of cradling device, and then gently you're going to, you know, make sure that it's still wrapped loosely, it doesn't need to be crazy or tight or anything, but make sure it's wrapped, and you're gonna just gently set it down flat, right? Now, you might wanna then get some fluff, you know, and carefully put it around the piece, right? So that this can go on, you know, in your car, like on the floorboard or something, someplace where it's fairly safe, and maybe put things around it. So, you know, that's gonna stay pretty good on its side, right? So two ways of transporting. One is on the side that I think is pretty safe. Um, the other one is putting it upright. And here's a great idea for putting something upright. Make sure if you have a bucket or, or a nice box, but something just a little bit wider than your piece and make sure the bottom is really nice and flat or get something flat to put in there. And let's imagine that this then is your piece, right? And it's leather hard still. And this you know is nice and flat. And then you're gonna gently wrap this up just before you bring it. 
Make, make sure you know where you're holding it. You'll put it down gently into this deal. Then, if you're in the car here, this thing is just going to do that and it's going to break, right? Or it's going to get biffed up, you know? So what you want to do is once you get it gently down in the bottom, then get some kind of fluff, anything you can find. There's all kinds of stuff around the towels, you know? Some of your towels, if you're going to take them back to your house, just using towels and stuff. But rather than something really big and firm, small things that you can just gently wedge down and around it on the side. Just be careful not to biff it. But if you do biff it, if you put a dent in it or whatever, it's still leather hard and when you get it to school here, we can set you up somewhere and you can just do your details and fix what you, you know, if you put a, a mark in it somewhere you didn't want or whatever. So anyways, gently get this here, like this to where it's not wiggling. And this, this can take a little bit of swaying in your car too. Maybe a little bit more, so that's really holding it firmly, right? So laying down flat or upright, but then really think about where you put it in your car. After all this time, we want to get it here and get it fired successfully without tears. We don't want you to be sad, okay? Goodbye.